This is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today we are bringing you the 10 hidden features for the Google Pixel. Now this will work for the Google Pixel or Google Pixel XL. Right here we do have the XL and we're going to go through each and every hidden feature that you don't know about or at least most people don't know about. So take a look at all 10 and see if you knew all of them or maybe just one of them. Let's find out together, and remember you can see this video separate if you choose to. Let's get started. Now our first hidden feature for the Google Pixel XL will be the fact that you can't actually see the battery indicator out of the box, but there is a way to see it. So how do you see your battery percentage? You're going to hold down that gear button at the top, and once you hold it down, congrats you have unlocked the system UI tuner now from here this will be right above the about phone so you're just going to tap it and say look know that this is for fun but be careful what you're doing here because you can't break or change something and just bad things can happen so be careful with what you do here click got it and we're going to go to status bar from status bar we're going to swipe all the way down and we're going to go right here to battery right here show percentage when charging well we don't only want to show when charging we want to always show percentage so now that we did that as you can see we will now always have our battery percentage showing I love this because I always need to know where my battery is at and I do not like not knowing so Google leave that on by default uh, and stop ever thinking that you wouldn't want that always on by default now this is the main thing to do here. You can do other things like uh, change the time, change which how many apps are right here. Uh, so those are different things you can do, but just make sure that you know what you want to do and how you want to do it. And be careful with anything else here. Now when you have your data, sometimes you want to restrict the apps and sometimes you don't want any app to be restrict no matter what. Well this hidden feature is pretty hidden and it really allows you to have certain apps to have unrestricted data. So if we go into the apps menu right here and then we hit this little gear icon at the top, we swipe up and go to special access. Under special access you have a couple of different things you can do but one of the biggest secrets is definitely unrestricted data access. And what this allows for is when you turn one on this app has an unrestricted data access so it can have unlimited data and Google will not stop it, warn it, or anything. Even if you have data saver on, no matter what you do, that app will have always unlimited access. So if it's a game or a social network or maybe you're on a network like T-Mobile where like music doesn't count towards your data, then you can have that have unlimited data. So this is really good uh, definitely for unlimited data access on certain apps. Now when you first get the Pixel, you might think, oh, it doesn't have an LED notification, but it does. It just turned off for some reason. And that is just in the settings portion. You go down to device and notifications. Once you're in notifications, you tap this settings button at the top and you do pulse notification light. This will allow you to make sure that that no pulse notification light will go on. So if you miss something, you'll actually know about it. Huh, who to thunk it? Now, definitely one of the features you should have on and definitely helps you with battery life is battery saver. But it's not turned on by default, it's actually set to never by default. So if we go into the settings menu and go under battery, we can actually tap battery saver. And from here, you can just turn it on anytime you want to. So say if I was like, camping or something like that well then I would want to have that on the entire time however if you just want to you can actually have it automatically turn on at 15 percent so it's off right now but if I get to 15 percent it'll automatically switch on and that's always a good thing to have so if you get low on battery it will extend it dramatically now if you didn't have a nexus before this next feature you probably wouldn't know about but there's actually a way to rotate the home screen. See, by default, if you actually turn the screen over, you're not going to see it rotate. However, if you happen to hold down any part of the screen that's not an app, 
you have these three things come up wallpapers widgets and settings and in settings you can tap this button right here and do allow home screen rotate what this will allow for is for you to be able to actually rotate your screen so it's just a very simple way of allowing you to rotate your home screen when you need to Now to go along with that last sentence feature, a great one to know how to do is to disable Google Now. If you don't want Google Now, well, then you just disable it. How do you do that? Well, you hold down any part of the home screen that's not an app, and then you go into settings. What this will allow for is to not show the Google app when you swipe left to the home screen, and now you don't have that. So this keeps it really clean if you don't want to have Google swipe over well then you just have to tap the G or hold down the home button to get into it that way but if you're not one that likes to go to the Google Now app by swiping to the left and just feel it slows your phone down now you can have have the ability to get rid of it now definitely one of the biggest pain points for anyone is when you pass by a Starbucks or a McDonald's or something along those lines and you connect to a Wi-Fi network that's really slow and your phone just starts trying to download things well you can stop that actually with network restrictions so what do you do you go into settings you go under data usage and you go under network restrictions What this allows for is that when you want to you can assign certain uh, Wi-Fi locations such as an AT&T uh, Wi-Fi or a Starbucks Wi-Fi or McDonald's Wi-Fi, Target Wi-Fi, a uh, hotel Wi-Fi that you might not want to download a lot of apps through and this will restrict it so as soon as you turn that on it will restrict it and not let it download huge apps without first warning you and then that way if you stop it then it'll stop it completely and you won't have to endure trying to uh, go through multiple times to try to stop the apps from downloading. Now back in the day when you had Android uh, Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0 come out, well we had something called Android Beam. Google however decided to disable this by default on this phone. I'm going to tell you how to bring it back. Now what you do is you go into settings and you go under more and then first of all NFC is turned off by default so well, one we have to turn that on and then as soon as we turn that on, it takes a second you go into Android Beam and then you turn that on. By default this is off even if NFC is on. So you turn that on and what this allows you to do is transfer over big files, pictures, videos, anything like that along those lines uh, through this. And it allows you to transfer it over through Bluetooth. Unfortunately Google has Wi-Fi direct on this but it doesn't seem to be useful for file transfers. Uh, so but you can at least do that so tap back to back it'll instantly transfer over things like browser pages, YouTube videos, uh, contacts and things such as that but you can transfer over large uh, portions of photos it's actually how I got my photos from my older phone to this phone that didn't have enough storage to take all of them now for our next hidden feature is definitely a big one on Google and probably the most useful hidden feature you can find if you didn't know it existed already and that is how to go back to your last app. Now this is baked into Android 7.0 so all you do is simply tap this button, the overview button, twice and it will immediately go back to the last app you opened. So it's really great, it's very convenient just to keep jumping between two apps right after another and uh, this works with any app so you don't have to worry about oh well, is it compatible with this app or this app it does work with any app so you just simply double tap and it'll take you back to the last screen you were on so probably the most useful feature on the pixel that you definitely should know about now of course you know my policy with hidden feature videos and we can never have one without at least having one hidden feature for the camera and on this one there's actually uh, two and that is how to increase your panorama and how to shoot better video quality so when we go into the settings portion you're going to hit settings right here and you're going to up the panorama resolution to high that's really important but you're also going to be able to swipe over and instead of 
30 frames per second, which is the default, you're going to want to do to 60 frames per second. Now you can't do this in 4K, but 1080p at 60 frames per second, in my opinion, is much, much better than 4K because you can actually see the difference, whereas 4K, you'll never see the difference on a mobile device if your life depended on it. So those two features will definitely allow you to have a much better video quality and photo quality in Panorama. All right, guys, those were the 10 hidden features for the Google Pixel. Make sure to give a like, thumbs up down below. Let me know which features you knew about and maybe some other hidden features that you might know about that we didn't go over on this phone. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.